right, hello wine drinking people. Time for more of what I've had to drink yesterday in a small domain negotiant from Bordeaux, uh, Burgundy rather. I'm sorry, I was in to see me, the Rue, Pair and Fils. And uh, these guys have their own vineyards. They're based in St. Oban. They're a small family owned estate, 70 hectares, but they also buy uh, just about as much fruit as they do own. And they've got long term contracts with growers today. Not a lot of people buying juice, unless you're like Petriarch or one of these big houses that makes. You know, very average wine. Uh, this wine, the Macon Village from 2011. 2011, a very forward and charming vintage, similar to 2009 and, uh, well, similar to 2010 also. The wines have good freshness, but maybe not quite as long-lived. This is a really fruity style with green apple, lemon, citrus fruit, only stainless in this cuvee. Maybe a hint of wet stone minerality there. Fresh and clean wine on the tongue with juicy fruits. Uh, short, pleasant finish. Very charming. Uh, $16.50 for the Macon Village. These guys are the largest landowners in St. Aubin, supposedly. We didn't have their St. Aubin today, though. But uh, anyways, the Bourgogne Chardonnay is up next, 2010. You get that beautiful limestone terroir in this wine showing through on the bouquet. Some fresh apples, green apples, and some spice, a little wet rock and floral nuance showing here as well. Nice richness on the tongue for a Bourgogne. These 2010s have got excellent structure and uh, nice minerality. Some fresh zesty lemon showing on the finish. A very good Bourgogne Chardonnay at 18 bucks. And then the Merceau Old Vines. They do see a little new oak in this wine, about 30%. Some lovely tropical fruit, something you get out of Merceau, kind of the fattest and most California. And all of the Appalachians in Burgundy, a touch of honey and vanilla spice here. Nice freshness, uh, nice fat wine uh, on the on the palate. And uh, nice creamy texture, but uh, still very balanced and fresh on the finish. Very good little Merceau. The Bourgogne Rouge, the first of the reds we had here, 2011. Uh, really fresh raspberry and strawberry fruit shown, all stainless, no oak in this wine, a little spice and floral notes there, but still, you know, kind of light, tart redberry fruit shown on the tongue. A uh, smooth and silky tan and short, but pleasant finish. Um, well, a good wine at 18 bucks. And then the Mercure Le Perriere, the little stones. This wine does see a little new oak as well. You notice a little spice in the nose, some fresh strawberry and tart red cherry fruit. Uh, kind of minty uh, nuance there as well and some herbs there. Simple, straightforward, uh, very pleasant on the on the palate. A little bit on the austere side though, maybe that tart uh, cherry and cranberry fruit showing. A little bit of rose petal, um, silky tannins. A really good little bottle of uh, Mercure. One of the lesser known vineyards in uh, Burgundy, but uh, produces some pretty good values. And then the Pomard, closer to the Volnay side of the village here. Tannins are very supple and rounded in this 2010 vintage wine. Red cherry, cranberry-like fruit, pretty floral notes showing in this wine. A little bit of a raw meat kind of note here as well. Uh, some earth and minty notes. A bit on this austere side, but uh, you know, really savory. Still has some good fruit here. Just needs a little time to come around. Nice acidity in this wine as well. Very good stuff at $49.50. That's what I had to drink with our friends from uh, Domaine and Negociant Rue. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.